Hello, I'm State Representative John Payne of the 106th District in Dauphin County. Thanks for joining me for this month's V-Clip. In the State House, the Republicans and Democratic caucuses each choose one of their members to lead their respective caucuses for the two-year legislative session. Depending on the number of seats held in the House, one party holds the majority and the other party holds the minority. Being in a majority is beneficial to advancing the party's priorities and controlling the legislative agenda. For the current legislative session, which ends on November 30, 2012, House Republicans hold a majority in the House of Representatives with 112 of the 203 seats. The Republican leader, or the majority leader, is Representative Mike Terzai of Allegheny County, who I'm pleased to say is joining me this month. Mike was elected to the House in July 2001. He served as chairman of the House Republican Policy Committee from January 2007 to November 2008. He served as a Republican whip from January 2009 to November 2010, and he was elected by the Republican caucus to serve as our majority leader in January of this year, currently serving his sixth term in the State House, representing Allegheny County and the Republican Party. Welcome, Mike Terzai. Hey, John, how are you? Thanks. Thank you for having me. Uh, listen, a couple quick questions. One, what's it like being a majority leader in the House? Oh, John, it, it, it is an, it, it's really an awesome responsibility to be elected by your peers to help move our agenda for, forward. Um, it is certainly something, it is a team position because, like, you know, the legislature, we're a team. And um, I always tell people it's like getting a lot of strokes on a painting. No one stroke um, it makes that painting, but you got to have them all to get it done. And uh, we have 112 out of 203. And so the first order of business is to make sure our team's together. But then we do reach across the aisle to try to get support for what we think are measures that benefit all Pennsylvanians. Um, and, you know, we've been doing pretty pretty successful in that regard so far. But, it, but it's really a team effort. Yeah, very successful. They just put together a little package for us how in uh, the th last three years we had passed no bills from January to March 1st, two years ago, passed 10 bills, all Democratic bills, last year. And so far, I think we're at 33 or 34 bills, some of which were Democratic no, bills. No, that's right. We, we, we've been really, we want to take good legislation and move it. And uh, of course, we think a lot of our members have good legislation or we wouldn't have run as a as a, as a team, but, but we, we do have, we know we have very serious people on both sides of the aisle. Let's talk just a little bit about uh, the members on our side of the aisle, because uh, you know, uh, 112, there's 112 ideas. Yes. I, I tell the <laughs> school students when they come up, there's 112 generals that all think we have the best idea and the best things. You have to deal with that. What are some of the challenges? <laughs> oh, John, it is, it, it, it can be a challenge. You know, the thing is, is we're all elected officials. And so we all have our own bosses right back home. And uh, we know, uh, you know, I, particularly in the state house, because like we're on the ground level. Like we see people, you know, at the YMCA's, at the uh, rotaries, at the uh, school groups, the church groups, like you can't not see people. So we know what people are thinking and saying back, back in our districts. And we gotta find common ground. And even though by and large we are in the same you know, framework on, on the big issues, you know, controlling spending, you know, no reckless borrowing, you know, try to hold the line on taxes. We do cover that, but we have some differences on other issues. And we have to find common ground to get to ultimately 102 votes to pass a bill because that's what we need for a majority. Um, and I mean, ideally, we like all 112 together. It doesn't always happen, but we try very hard. Let's, let's close with, in addition to all the responsibilities you have here in Harrisburg, and I'm sure you're spending more time here than you ever did. I, I, yes. You still have to go back home to your home. You're just like me. You're a regular rep, per se, back in your home district. You've got a district office. You have those constituents, as you said, that you bump into a church and the grocery store, and even when you're out eating, you're, somebody no, comes that's up right. and says, yeah. do you have a minute? <laughs> <laughs> How how's that impact your district? as far as now that you've got this position? John, boy, you are right. And I, you know, my wife uh, works and we have three boys, uh, 12, 11, and eight. And, and I have a bit of a hike, you know, uh, the northern suburbs of Allegheny County, I'm about four hours away. My district's not so dissimilar from yours, you know, yep. sort of suburban, a little bit yep. of rural. And uh, it can be tough, I have to say. And I, I you know, you, you, you know, you miss it, but, there's an opportunity, particularly with our new governor, to really do a lot of positive things that we've been talking about for some time. And 
I think many of us are very, very excited. And, and I've told uh, people back home, like, I, I can't always be here as much as I, I was, but I'm making a positive difference, I think, with our team in Harrisburg. And, and you know, if you can cut me a little slack, I'll take it. <laughs> Great job. I think you can see Mike's enthusiasm in his face. And I'm also proud to say that in addition to Mike being a majority leader, he's a friend. When I first came in the house in 02, he had just come in in 01, and we shared the same row in the back bencher section yes. of, the, yeah. of the house floor. Thanks for joining me for this month's V-Clip. As a reminder, I'll be sending an update each month as a way to keep you informed in the issues taking place in Harrisburg and throughout the 106th District. If you have any questions, please contact my office. The contact information appears within this email message. Until next time, I'm John Payne.